we've had an easy enough time getting our browser window to display on the screen. So I'd like to now pivot a little bit and start thinking about how we're going to put together that tray icon that's going to appear on the top right hand side of the screen. Keep in mind that when we create this tray icon, if you're running on OS X, you're going to see it appear next to the clock on the top right hand side. But if you're on Windows, you'll see it appear next to your clock on the bottom right hand side. So again, slightly different behavior depending on the operating system that you're using. To create a tray icon, we use a very similar process to how we previously created our browser windows. Remember, we treat this tray icon like just another object that is being managed by Electron. So we'll start off by importing the tray constructor off of the Electron object. So it's just called simply tray, nothing else, just tray. After importing tray, we can then create a new instance of it inside of our app.onready call by saying new tray, like so. Now the tray constructor right here takes one single argument. If you look up at all the different icons up here, all the different running tasks that I have, you'll notice one very common characteristic of each one. And that is they all have an icon to display on the taskbar. And so that's required by the new tray constructor right here. We have to pass it the path to an icon that it should use when it attempts to display itself on the tray. So to get an icon to show up there, I've already loaded up two sample tiny little icons inside of the SRC assets directory. Inside of here, you'll see a icon template PNG and a Windows icon PNG as well. And so if you open up these files, you'll notice that they just appear as the classic little electron win, uh, icon. So I would like to take these PNG files and get them to be used as the icon when this thing appears up on the taskbar. To do so, we just have to pass in a reference to that particular file to the new tray constructor. Now we've been handling some file references previously with like the load URL where we said, oh yeah, I use this HTML file right here. We're essentially going to be doing the same thing right here, but we're going to use a slightly different process for generating the URL. So let's walk through that. Up at the top of the file, I'm going to import the, oh, I already have it right here. Let's take it off and do it again. I'm going to get the path helper from Node. So this is a default Node.js library right here. It's called the path module and it's used for generating paths that work irrespective of whether or not you're running on Windows or OS X. So it kind of abstracts away some of the difficulty of generating a path that, rep that works correctly on either operating system. Then down right above the tray file or the tray constructor right here, we're going to get the name of the icon that we want to use. So depending upon which, uh, which operating system we're on, we want to either make use of the icon template file right here or the Windows icon file. So depending on which one we're using, we want to use a slightly different icon. The different icons that we make use of here essentially comes down to, you can kind of see on the Windows icon, it has the white background right there. When we're using Electron, the expectation is that we have a not transparent icon that we're making use of. So in this case, with Windows, we want to have the white background. But if we are on OS X, we want it to be completely see-through, like so. So we want to add in a little bit of a platform check, as we've done several times previously, and say that if we are on Windows, I want to use the Windows icon file. So right above the new tray constructor, we'll first decide what platform we are on. And if we're running on Windows, I want to use the Windows icon. So we'll say const icon name. If we are running on Windows, and we can do that check by asking if our current process platform is equal to Win32, like so, then I want to use the icon named Windows, oops, Windows-icon.png. Now take note that we do not have to specify that at two times modifier right there. The uh, Electron will automatically detect and decide whether or not to use this higher resolution version of the icon depending upon the current running environment. So if we're on Windows, use this icon. Otherwise, for every other platform, I want to use that fully transparent icon whose name was 
icontemplate.png. So icontemplate.png, like so. So we've now got the icon name. Now we're going to use that path helper, or the path module that we just imported, to get a actual path to look directly at the particular icon file. So we'll say const icon path is path.join. We're going to say underscore underscore dir name. And then the path to the module from our working directory right here. Keep in mind that the dir name right here, this is a reference to the current working directory. We have to then provide the path to get to the actual icon as a second argument. So we'll say dot slash src assets and then the location of the file. So we'll use a ES6 template string again. We'll say icon name, like so. And then I'm going to make sure that because I used a ES6 template string, I'm going to replace the single quotes that I just put on there with a template string instead. OK, so I know that I kind of glossed over the use of path.join here a little bit. Path.join is the, remember, the path module in general is used for abstracting out some of the differences between a Windows-based or uh, OSX-based operating system and the different ways that they handle paths. The path.join module or function is used to take two or more different paths and join them together and make sure that that join path is formed correctly depending upon the current operating system. So essentially, this entire kind of little <laughs> hoop that we're jumping through right here, this little additional syntax that we've got, the extra function call, is just to make sure that we generate the path to this icon correctly based on whether or not we are on operating system of Windows or on OS X. Okay, so nasty little bit of logic between these two lines right here. The last thing we have to do is take this icon path and pass it to the new tray constructor. So we'll pass it in as icon path like so. Okay, so by creating the new tray object and passing it the path, we should be able to see a new icon appear on our tray up here. Right now, there is absolutely no business logic, absolutely nothing tied to it whatsoever. So even though we might get the icon to display up here, if I click on it or something like that, I'm really going to expect that nothing happens whatsoever. I just want to make sure that I, I, we can get the icon up here to start. So I'm going to go back over to my terminal, and we're going to test this out. So we'll do npm run electron. And when we do so, you'll notice that we still get the browser window appearing. But we now also have our little icon from Electron appearing up here on the screen as well. So looks like we got some progress. Not that bad. If I click it right now, again, you'll notice that just absolutely nothing happens. So it really does appear like we still have a little bit of work to do on this thing. Let's take care of that in the next section.